Hi friends, welcome to Sriram's Fun School. Today we are going to learn some easy tricks to remember multiplication tables. Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Multiplication tables of 1 and multiplication table of 2. We all know how to count numbers in our hands, right? We count by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 likewise. So the counting by ones is nothing but the table of one. So how will you write the table of one? We will write one, two, three, four, up to ten in the leftmost side. And whose multiplication table we need that is written on the second part. Such that one into one, two into one, three into one, four into one, likewise. So what is one into one? One. Because I am taking... One only once. What is two into one is equal to two? Two into one is equal to two means I am taking one two times. One two times. So that becomes two. If I take one three times, that becomes three. If I take one four times, it becomes 4. So similarly, you can see the answers for 1 to 10 of multiplication table of 1 consecutively for 1 to 10 is 1 to 10 itself. For learning the multiplication table of 2, we need to memorize only the even numbers which are counting by 2's. We all know counting by 2's even numbers, right? Starting from 2, it is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That is, we are adding 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, likewise. So, this is the even number set starting from 2 to 20. This is the multiplication table of 2, simple. 1 to 10, you write in the left. 2's multiplication table we are writing. So write 2 as the second number and equal to the answers will be even numbers obtained by counting by 2. Now, here we have a trick to memorize 3's multiplication table. Very simple because in 3's multiplication table onwards, we have to add 3 consecutively to the previous number so that we should get the next number. So sometimes children uh, will um, mistakenly write the previous number and they will finally end up in wrong answers for the entire table. To avoid this, we can follow a small trick. You divide two lines like this create two lines like this and start writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the 0 of 10 outside the matrix. How will you write? From down to upward direction. This direction you have to write 1, 2, 3 then again from the bottom 4, 5, 6, again from the bottom, 7, 8, 9 and the tens, 0 only we are writing outside. Okay, the next step is you add 0 to the numbers in the first row. 0, 0, put 0 to the existing number in the first row. Then you put 1, to the existing numbers in the second row. That is 1 here, 1 here and 1 here. And you put 2 to the existing numbers of the third row. That is 2 here, 2 here and 2 here. Okay. We put 0 to the first row, 1 to the first row and 2 to the uh, sorry, 1 to the 2nd row and 2 to the 3rd row. And we have left one zero here, right? To that zero, we are going to add 3. Such that our table becomes 
Or will you write our table now? We can write the table. This is our 30. So, we can write the table of 3 as 1 into 3 equal to 3, 2 into 3 equal to 6, 3 into 3 equal to 9, 4 into 3 is equal to 12, 5 into 3 is equal to 15, 6 into 3 is equal to 18, 7 into 3 is equal to 21, 8 into 3 is equal to 24, 9 into 3 is 27 and 10 into 3 is 30. How will you write? 1 into 3 is equal to 3, 2 into 3 is equal to 6, 3 into 3 is equal to 9. That is our first row. Then 4 into 3 is equal to 12, 5 into 3 is equal to 15, 6 into 3 is equal to 18. That is our second row. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Similarly, we are going to write the rest of the table. 7 into 3 is equal to 21. 8 into 3 is equal to 24. 9 into 3 is equal to 27, which is our third row. And the final number, 10 into 3 is our 30 written outside. So this is the multiplication table of 3. Simple. So we are going to write the multiplication table of 4. Okay. So to write the multiplication table of 4, the usual way is you write 1 to 10 on the left side. Since it's 4's table, we are writing 4 at the second number. 1 into 4 equal to what? That is we are going to find now. So the general method is 1 into, 1 into 4 is equal to 4 that we will know if we know the multiplication table of 1. So 1 into 4 is equal to 4. Then what is 2 into 4? You have to add 4 to the existing 4 such that we will get the next number. Similarly, add 4 to the second number, we will get the third number. Add 4 to the third answer, we will get the fourth answer. Likewise it goes. But since adding 4 is not that easy for children of 1st or 2nd standard, we are going to use a small method to memorize the multiplication table of 4. For that, we need two M's. This is the first M and this is the second M. Okay. Then we are going to write even numbers from... Like we are climbing a mountain, again coming down, again climbing up, again coming down with the help of even numbers. So first we are climbing with 2, then we are climbing with 4, again 6, 2, 4, 6, 8. We are not writing 10, we are writing only 0 here. Again repeat the same step. We are writing 2, we are writing 4, 6, 8 and 0 here. So for the multiplication table of 4 we need only 2 m's with a climbing up down of even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let's start from here. Add 0 before these two numbers. Add 1 before these two numbers. Only these two, not this one. 0 before these two, 1 before these two and add 2 here as well as to these two numbers of the second M. Add 2 to the 0 here as well as, I mean prefix 2 to the second, uh, to the 0 here as well as prefix 2 to the 4 and 8 left over here. So we are adding 2, we are putting 2 for 3 numbers totally. Then put 3 to these two numbers, not to this one, only these two numbers. And then put 4 before this number. Now the complete multiplication table of 4 we have obtained. We have putting 0, here putting 1, here we are putting 2, here as well as here. Here we are putting 3 and here we have put 4. So totally 4 into 1, 1 into 4 is equal to 4. 2 into 4 is equal to 8, 
3 into 4 is 12, 4 into 4 is 16, 5 into 4 is 20, 6 4 is 24, 7 4 is 28, 8 4 is 32, 9 4 is 36 and 10 4 is 40. So just write it here in this order. First here, then second here, then again first here, then second here. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. This is the multiplication table of 4. Simple. I want to give balls, 3 balls each to my 10 friends. Okay. So 3 balls each to my 10 friends. How many times at the browsing and the barricade divided? If I don't know multiplication, I will have to either count by my fingers and I have to draw some pictures and add them together. If I don't know multiplication, so I don't know multiplication, I am going to add this. Three balls each to my ten friends. Okay. Appa, patthu browsing and moon balls which are Patthu pravashyam, moon balls which if I don't know multiplication, I will add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh my god, I got so tired. The answer is 30. I found the answer, but the method was a little bit tired, sir. Okay, but how many uh, balls did I take? Three balls. How many friends I have to give it to? 10 friends. About 10 pravashya mana and 3 add either. If I know multiplication, I can write this as 10 pravashya nyan 3 add either. This pravashya or this times is represented by our multiplication symbol cross. So if I know the multiplication table of 3 or the multiplication table of 10, I can easily find the answer. Understood? So that is the use of knowing multiplication tables.